Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. How to perform initial programming on your Braven SCS660 console granular applications. Your console must be calibrated with constants and selections before using. There is certain information that you must know in order to program your console. NCI has made a worksheet 1 through 10 that corresponds to the steps of programming. Get the worksheet and the complete instructions on programming the SCS660. Go to the Newton Crouch website. Go to Support, Precision, Technical Tips. Then choose the first one, Controller, what does it do? Then drop down to the section that talks about the Raven SCS660. Click on the link. Turn on the master switch. In the display, you will see U.S. volume per acre. Using the CE key, you will select the desired unit of measure. U.S. volume per acre, SI volume per hectare, TU volume per square feet. Most people in the United States are going to choose U.S. volume per acre. Press Enter on your selection. Step number two, the message Cal SP1 wheel drive appears in the display. This is your type of sensor. You can choose from SP1 wheel drive or SP2 radar speed sensor. Most people at this point are going to choose SP2 radar speed sensor. Press enter to set your choice. Step number three is to select the type of application. Cal LI liquid sprayer, GR1 single bed belt, GR2 split bed belt. Most people are going to select GR1 single bed belt. Press enter. Number four is valve selection. C-SD standard valve will appear in the display. There are multiple types of valves to choose from. Most people are going to choose C-PC-PWM close valve. Number five. Cal self test 0.0, .0 appears in the display. Cal on the left side of the screen is blinking. Press the Boom Cal button, number three. Cal Boom 1 Cal appears in the display. Press Enter. Zero goes to E. Enter the Boom, which is your swath in inches. Press Enter. Use the up and down arrows to advance Boom 1 and Boom 2. Repeat steps for Boom 2, adding a value. If a boom is not being used, a number other than zero must be entered for the boom length. Number six, press the speed cal button. Number four, speed cal E appears in the display. Speed cal will have to be calibrated. Page 10 of the NCI programming instructions explains the procedure. Here is a list of starting speed cal numbers depending upon your equipment specs. Raven Radar, 780. Dicky John Radar, 1000, T-Jet Speed Sensor, 607, Phoenix 200 Receiver, 795. Press the Enter key, enter the number of your sensor, press the Enter key. If you make an entry or selection error during the first six steps, turn the power off to press the CE key and hold it down while turning the power back on. This will reset your console. Next is your meter cal. Press and hold the meter cal button. When the display changes to spreader constant zero, press the enter key, your number, and the enter key. There is no decimal allowed. Your spreader constant must match the correct gate setting. It is a number based on the bed chain width, gate height, and pulses per revolution of the rear roller for the spreader being used. There are many choices. Press the meter cal button, number five. Press enter, then enter your product density in pounds per cubic foot, then press the enter key again. Be aware the console will put a decimal place into this number. If you are entering 65 pounds, you must enter 650 to get the number 65. You must have an accurate density. We recommend that you measure each load with the density meter. A separate video is available on our YouTube channel explaining the process. In step four, you entered the type of valve. We're going to put the valve 
Cal value. The valve cal figure is used to control the response time of the control valve to the change of the vehicle speed. We have initial recommended value. The standard valve, 2123. Fast close valve, 743. Fast valve, 743. PWM valve, 43. PWM close valve, 43. After operating the system, this number may be refined. In this figure from Raven, you can see the valve calibration definitions. Entering your spread rates. Press rate 1 cal, button number 7. Press the enter key. Enter your desired spread rate. Press the enter key. Now press button number 8, rate 2 cal. Press the enter key. Enter a second spread rate. This value cannot be zero. It can be identical to rate number 1. Press the enter key. The blinking CAL disappears. Do not try to modify or lengthen any of the three speed sensor or encoder cables. Always disconnect your battery from the console prior to jump starting, welding, or charging the battery. It will ruin your console.